let's uh, talk about this 55 Chevy here for a little bit. This car was built for SEMA. Uh, it was built in about six weeks at GM Performance Division. The guys, if you take a close look, the guys did an absolutely excellent job on it. Uh, I cannot find a single flaw in it, and I've been working with this car for about two months now. Uh, if you look, uh, what they've done is they've uh, very cleanly installed this engine in this engine compartment. Uh, what they've done is they've left a couple of units out, for example, the fuse box and the evaporator canister, just so you can see all the components of the engine. Uh, they also left the uh, covers off, just so you can see everything that's, that's part of it and, and just how clean of an insulation it, it makes on, on whatever car you may be uh, building. This car originally was uh, sold in Ohio. It, was, it had moved to Arizona and uh, Jim bought it back in the 1970s took it back to their heritage center and just kind of sat there waiting for the perfect uh, uh, perfect engine combination. Uh, when they developed this program here, they thought, you know, what better what better vehicle to put this in than a classic 55 Chevy? It's got the clean lines, it's very basic style, uh, just clean, just goes kind of with the, with the entire concept of the E-Rod. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks great. Look at that. Everything fits, huh? The uh, paint is a, a water-based paint, water-based colors. Uh, if you notice, it's got a little bit of a green pearl in there. It's absolutely gorgeous. Even the um, even the wheels, you could almost say are recycled. They came out of a uh, uh, 2010 Camaro. These are late model wheels. They've uh, the offset has been reworked on it, but just looks very classic and, and looks very at home on this car here. Beautiful. The car itself was built in about six weeks. Uh, it was just in time for SEMA and uh, they just had just enough time to run at the performance at the uh, proving grounds. Uh, a couple shakedown runs on it, went on trailer and came out to SEMA and has been on the uh, California tour since. Great, uh, Frank, what are these rims reminiscent of? You know, if you look at them, they kind of remind you of the 70s, 80s Camaro uh, SS wheels. Oh, okay, but they look bigger. They are 18-inch wheels. Oh, okay. uh, like I said, they came off a uh, 2010 Camaro uh, base model and just reworked the offset so they fit on this application. Oh, I see. Everything on this car uh, is pretty much General Motors parts. Uh, short of the radiator and a couple of aftermarket parts, most of it you can find on, on uh, other donor cars that, that uh, they found it on. The, the rear end, for example, came out of an S10. Uh, the brakes, I believe, are, are late model Camaro. Um, the steering box is still Chevrolet. Uh, even the interior, uh, some of the components there are from original fabrics and, and uh, patterns that uh, they found back at the Heritage Center or back in, in inventory. So are, are you saying you're going back to old school hot rodding where we can just go to the junkyard and get our own parts and build our own cars? Like in the old days, just buy your engine? <laughs> uh, to the point, you know, like it used to be in the old days. Uh, you'd hear somebody running a, a a street route with an old Lincoln motor or an old, uh, you know, cars that were, or engines that were pulled out of out of donor cars, and that's what we're seeing again. We're seeing uh, uh, these LS engines, which are, which are coming out of Camaros, you know. It, it was back uh, 15, 20 years ago, to get any kind of serious horsepower, you had to go through the aftermarket. Now you can get this kind of horsepower, dependability, fuel mileage, and warranty right from the factory. Hey, that's been everybody's goal from the start, and it's it's a good goal, and it looks like we're 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 seeing you know we're seeing it come to life. Great, Frank. Hey, well, thanks for your time, and this is one beautiful fifty-five. All right, Mike. Thank you very much, and uh, appreciate it. appreciate the time. Hey, you have a good day. All right, thanks. You too.